People also huff it. Really? That's weird. Now, to be fair, there are significantly more societally, um, what's the word for that? Societally accepted items, which are way worse than other items. See, I have a cousin, I have a cousin who he smokes cigars, right? But they're all real, they're all real clean, very like prim and proper crushed and rolled cigars, right? Like really high quality cigars. And then I have another family member that is just like pounding down just the cheapest of cigarettes. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's like one of these two is significantly healthier than the other in their, in their uh, occupation of choice, you know? See, I had thought of that in the past where it's like, I want to create, I want to create like a, like a cigarette line or something, which is like a, an extremely clean, an extremely clean line of like cigarettes that uses like just real clean ingredients that are very like natural, you know, like, like kind of like when people roll really fancy, really nice, clean cigars, like do that except for cigarettes or something and then call them death sticks. And then, and, and then have the tagline be like, now with 75% less death, or now with 100% less death. Death sticks, now with 100% less death. I think that'd be freaking hilarious. Oh, I need one more rod because I'm running out of space. Luckily, I'm going to need a crap ton of rockets, so I'm sure those will all be eaten almost immediately. Thirsty. All right, back out to the water. But yeah, I think that'd be hilarious. Make like the cleanest, healthiest products and then call them death. Have the brand be called death. Because then it's one of those like, you know, you got some kid who's some kid who's, you know, peer pressured in by his friends and he's sitting there smoking a death stick and their parents are freaking out. And then it's like, well, actually, mom, this is 10 times healthier than the cigarettes that you're pounding down on the weekend. And mom's like, oh. <laughs> are you being smart with me son maybe depends are you gonna hit me <laughs> if so then no I'm, I'm not being smart mom <clears throat> no I'm trapped trapped like a rat not gonna comment into that because that'll just get you into politics fair enough fair enough yeah <clears throat> Well, there's a general feel if you want everybody to be, you know, held accountable for their actions and current systems don't always do that, which is too bad. There we go. Oh, come on, give it to me. There we go. Wow, over here got peppered. There is so much iridium over here. Okay, I am a full now. I'm coming in. I did see a, a thing on that and it was very funny. There's a comedian talking about like people getting offended for other people. And it's like, knock it off. <laughs> it's like none of the people, none of the people that that joke was aimed at was offended. Only you and you're not them. So shut up. It's like, yeah, pretty much. Oh dear, we're full. Here, uranium you get to inherit. And then dump the one water. Okay, so now that we've got all that harvested. Oh, there's one more little spot over here. That's right. I need to check right up here over this rock ridge. And then at that point, I think we're caught up. I think we've harvested all of our iridium. We launched our five rockets. I need to double check. I need to double check where we're at as far as the... Um, the pressure because I really need the pressure to hit another oh hello someone is tucked in the rock <clears throat> need a sip of something I'm all scratchy <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> 
<clears throat> see if that helps. There are certain foods that just don't agree, and uh, milk is generally one of those. I swapped over to like lactose-free milk or whatever recently because I'm not a total animal. I'm an animal, but I'm not a total animal. And it's helped a bit. Realistically, I should just get off milk altogether, like 100%, just be done. But milk's fun. It's delicious. Okay, is that it? I don't seem to see much more. All right, I think we got everything here, unless there's more hiding over here on this corner. There usually is, so I kind of want to just double check real fast. There's a couple spots right over... Ooh, machine optimizer. I have yet to find a fuse, though, so that's not very helpful. For some reason, whenever I order in meteors, usually a couple of them hit right over here in this corner. Oh, no, we're good. All right, cool, cool. Well, in that case, I think we're ready to probably take our vehicle off on another adventure. And then we'll come back. I think what we're going to do now is we're probably going to head for... Oh, hi. Welcome, everyone. This is episode number... I'm looking. Where to go? Nine? Episode nine, I believe. Should be. If not, don't throw the book at me. Book throwing boogie. Doo-doo. Nice. Okay, so... I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go on another adventure. I think we're ready. We're going to go iron like that. Okay. The next goal here is we've had a lot of stuff that's like either finished or opened up. And I want to hit a couple of those spots real quick. Charge. The fact that the rover doesn't care about water is very funny to me. <laughs> right? Just straight up driving on the bottom of the ocean. I mean, in theory, if you had the right vehicle with the right tread, you'd be able to do that. Uh-oh, I'm lost. Oh no, am I going... Did I flip around the wrong way? Hang on, I can't see. Oh yeah, I totally went the wrong way. I'm trying to go... over here... Yeah, over here. I want to go right over here. The goal right now is I want to go hit, like, the White Desert. How long have we gone? Just an hour? Okay, good, good. Yeah, I want to go hit the White Desert real quick. And then keep on from there. There we go. Ah... Uh... <laughs> oh, can I just drive through that? Nope. The game's like, maybe run headfirst into it. No, absolutely not. All right. This is why we can't have nice things. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm terrified to take this thing in here. Oh, boy. It's a tight squeeze. Oh, mistakes have been made. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Ooh. See, and that's the thing. There's a thing about, like, once you hit a certain threshold of the game, uh, getting new chests beyond that is very fun because it's always good stuff. Like, right now, I think, I think the key one is, like, 150 MTI. Once you hit 150 MTI, that's when the majority of the good stuff unlocks. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Well, thank you. <coughs> trying to remember how to breathe. I didn't do it, I promise. I was dead at the time. Did you brush your teeth? No. I was dead at the time. Okay. Oh, there's one there that I missed. Let's pull up here. Right there. Yeah, there's one more over here in the ice that I missed. That guy. Ooh. I'm getting so much osmium right now. It's awesome. I 
Oh, that's right. They added that Osmium Cave way over in the south. The south uh, west. Oh, come on. <laughs> you needed something what? Now you know how I feel. I live on salt. Salt is my favorite, man. I'm literally sitting here playing, and I hear this thump next to me, and I'm like, what the heck was that? I turn and look, and my wife's opening a can of stacks. I'm like, oh! Got so excited. Oh, my goodness. So many goodies. Can't forget the chest up there, either. Okay. I think I got the floor clean. Yeah? Nope. <laughs> Maybe. Nearly. Let's say, where's my truck? There's my truck. All right, so real quick here. Let's go dump, dump, dump. All right, so here it is. Okay, so right up here is a chest. Hey, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what an amazing chest. That gave me two fuses. Holy crap, that was so good. We went from no fuses to two. Pretty sick, I love it. <laughs> My inventory is full. Oh boy, here we go. Oh no. Ahem. <clears throat> Frickin' the thing, and then the face, and then annoyance, and then life, and <sighs> iron, and then more iron, and then even more iron, and then the thing, and the face, and garbage. Also, I'm hungry and thirsty. Don't tell anyone, but I'm hungry and thirsty. And I don't know if I have any with me. Iron... Iron. Iron. Because someone thought it'd be funny to be difficult. So now I have to go get iron. More iron. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Where's my cave? Right there? Yeah. I was about to say, I lost my cave. Someone thought it'd be funny to make the rocks too close together. Okay. Do I have food and water on me? Do I have water on me? Do I have food? I do have food on me. Okay. Not... Whoa, what the freak is that? It's a corner. Huh. Interesting. Someone thought it'd be funny to not allow me to get through this. It's obnoxious. Uh. Rude. 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 I don't appreciate that game. I don't appreciate that at all. Okay, we need to go like that. Like that. Gross. How rude. I was trying to live here. And the game's like, hey, you know how you were going to go through there? Yeah, no. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm like, oh. Oh, I, I should really hit obsidian just a little bit. Not, not a lot. Just a little bit of obsidian while I'm out here. 
I'm basically full. Let's just ignore that for now. Okay. All right. So I need to head. Also have yet to make a compass yet, by the way. Okay. That's there. We want to go this way. Oh. Is it this way? I'm not 100%. See, this is this is part of the thing about using the car versus using your jetpack is the jetpack is like fearless. It does not care. You can do anything you want with the jetpack. It's not this way. It's over here more. I'm like two rocks over. Yep, right there. I was going the wrong way. Man, imagine if any of these poor saps had a car. How much further they would have gotten in life, you know? But the devs said no to all the people that came before us. Um, okay, I have enough for a building. So let's slap that down. We're going to go living. Doer. That's all. Oh, no, no, just kidding. Just kidding. I was going to say, that's all she wrote, but that's not all she wrote. Interior wall. All right. I don't remember if they changed that or not. Hang on. No, you do get the iron for it. When you when you're doing like the dungeon stuff, you don't get iron when you break the walls. They took that away. So there's like a you have them here, but then you don't have them there, which is kind of obnoxious because it was really useful in there. Okay, throw down a pair of lockers. I've got too much junk. All right. And then I'll try and organize my truck as well. Because I'm currently full of all kinds of goodies. Let me through, let me through, let me through. Oh. Oh, I thought it was letting me tear that down. I was going to be all excited. All right, what do we got? Um, it's okay. Some rods are rods are generally always welcome. Um, late hyper late game, not as much. Not not when you're after like very specific items and you've got like twenty you know extractors going full time. It's like less good. But give me that decode construction menu filter. I like that one. That's a good one. Okay. Um, so I have to go down one. this way yeah i was about to say i need to go a different direction here all right grab that grab that okay that's everything from this side that side's done this side is done okay we are done with this wreck Ugh. someone clearly likes headaches with the way they designed that Hey, explosive. Okay. And then these buildings usually have lots of goodies in them. Oh my heck. Two forks, six super from one chest. That is so good. So useful. Yeah, generally, generally the highest form of rods are the best. So like... If you have a choice between finding osmium or an osmium rod, you want the rod just because it's... The heck is this? This looks different. What are you? What are you? I don't know. Oh, what is that? I don't know. What is that? Ooh. Wow. Oh, weird. I can, I can open that and pull the seat out, but it won't let me deconstruct it after. That's a little silly. Dude, we found a free rocket. Heck yeah. Love free rockets. And then you. <gasps> I feel lied to. Usually there's a chest in here. Aw. Sad day. Okay, so we did this one. We did that one. We did in there. Okay, so we're done. We're done with this location. I do want to get some obsidian, though. So here, I'm going to just kind of disappear by my own for a second. I'm going to leave my truck there. I have a clean in inventory. I'm just going to come over here and snag like... Hey, 
here. Hi, bud. Yeah, it's my boy. It's my handsome floof. Trying to hurry and get over to, yeah, this one over here. Right over here, there's a rock, and it's just covered in obsidian, and I'm just going to scour it. Yeah, right here. I just want, and there's super here, too. I forgot. Okay. Get a bunch of super and a bunch of obsidian, and then we'll head back to the... He's right behind you. Times at 12. Yeah. He probably wants a lap to sit on. The problem is he wants my lap not here. Oh, he loves my lap, just not here. He wants me laying on the bed so he can curl up and fall asleep. Oh, now he's outside. <laughs> Would you maybe see if he wants some food or something? Would you maybe see if he wants some food or something? To be fair, he also probably wants some mommy love. Obsidian, super. Yeah, obsidian and super together is awesome. I love it. So useful. Oh, come on. Also, don't tell anyone, but I still don't have a compass on yet. Two more. Maybe. Obsidian. Obsidian. Cool. Oh, that's a cave. I'm not headed. I'm not headed for the cave. Oh dear. I'm pointed the wrong direction. Um, um, how do I get back around? How do I get back around? This way. I just realized I was pointed in the complete wrong direction. That was going to spit me out at the waterfall, and I don't want to be at the waterfall. Oh, no, no. Running into invisible walls. Yep, just like that. <laughs> the game's like, where are you going? And I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> let me go. Come on, let me up. Okay. There we go. There we go. And I'm out. Safely. Yeah, I literally turned around and went, uh-oh. Broken wind turbine? Oh, yeah. That that makes sense, yeah. For that being a broken wind turbine, that makes sense, yeah. Oh, dear. My inventory is so full of garbage. Ah. Okay. What do we have in the truck? Okay. Um... Okay. This is clearly going to be a, a priority one location to return to. Because there's so much good stuff here. Okay. Obsidian. Okay. Let's go here and dump the super. Come back in here. Grab the obsidian. You generally don't need a ton of obsidian early game. So like what I have here will carry me till almost the very end of the game. Like it's not needed. It's good to have it because there are very specific recipes that do require it. But any that like require it on like a, a regular like crafting cycle. No, not at all. The rods are fairly tempting. That rocket is a, is a necessity. Wait, where's my other... It hid my fuse from me. I was like, where'd my fuse go? It's mine now. She's mine now, John. All right, what do I have? I got one more slot, and I'm thirsty. Burgundy. Okay. Um, let's just grab... Let's just grab... The Arima. Tally ho. Let's get out of here. I'm thirsty and I don't see any ice around. Uh, no, no, no. 
See, if you're a sneaky, you just head back to home and then hit the button that recalls your vehicle to home. But that's cheating. The Dutch wins gold medals and they smoke marijuana. Yeah, well, they're cheating. <laughs> it's a very funny comedian. Yeah, see, we spell things differently. Like you say caterpillar and we say caterpillar. It's always one of my favorite arguments when like, you know, British people are like, you know, we, we pronounce it correctly. And it's like, mm, you pronounce most things incorrectly and have 75 slangs for everything else. So I don't necessarily value your opinion on this subject. When a single language ha or when a single people has like 17 slangs for money and use all of those and not money, it's like, no, no thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not taking your opinion at face value on, on the lang English language. See, it's like the it's like the aluminum it's like the aluminum thing, right? It's like what is the proper spelling for aluminum and what is the proper pronunciation? Is it aluminum? Is it aluminium? Well, considering that it comes from the element alum, and then it was changed to fit the standards for al for like everything else, like you know, it's it's a whatever moment. Okay, let's go over here. I really need to tear up these little ones here. These little guys here are getting in the way of my uh, driving pattern. Although I could build some super highways if I was, like, insane. Okay, I need to dump some goodies here. I need to dump super. I need to grab iron. Okay, and then I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to throw down a couple dumps. This one is going to just straight up be obsidian. That way we do have it, and it has a home. Dump those, dump that. They say Zedbra. <laughs> yeah, they say a lot of things. <laughs> they say a lot of things which are different. It's just funny though, because like you you call them out on it, and then they they clearly have no problem with assuming that they're right when they're clearly making things up themselves too. I'm trying to remember who it was. Someone talks about that where it's like, it's like a, a grammar professor that goes over that about like what percentage of words are just straight up based off of different languages. Like a lot of, a lot of the words are based out of French. So like a lot of words that like England makes fun of America for are French words that England doesn't say correctly either, <clears throat> which is funny. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, French is weird. It's true, but but just the part where the part where England get uh, makes fun of America for how we pronounce it when it's a French word that n neither of us are either neither of us are pronouncing correctly or they for sure are not. It's just silly. People are silly, you know. Okay, cobalt there. We require a lerma there. I just bring that up because I've seen a zillion videos of it lately where people are like one of the one of the guys that I like uh, one of the comedians I like to listen to he went to England and he does a thing and they're like they get into the argument on stage about aluminum versus aluminium I was about to say what are the odds that I yeah I was gonna say what are the odds I drop stuff on the ground and the answer is eh, fairly high okay so we want Oh. Well, we're getting a lot of silicon back for that. Interesting. Magnesium. Aluminum. Okay. You know, I have half a mind to 